Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the lit code problem 583 delete operation for two strings. This, this problem is got asked in Google interview. So here the problem statement, we are given a two strings word one and word two and we have to return the minimum number of steps to require to make word one and word two the same. In one step, you can delete exactly one character in either of the string. So for example, this string one like word one is given C and word 2 is given eat so we need to try to make them both equals so first uh, we will start comparing s not equal to first t so either we can delete this or this so let's say we deleted over s and then ea is over here then we can delete the t so minimum we need to delete the two characters one is from the word ones one is from the word 2 so that ea ea will become equal and the two is the minimum operation we have to do. So this problem is like similar to the very famous problem at is distance problem, which we have solved long time back. And I have also posted a video, solid detailed video solution for that problem. So you can go ahead and solve that problem first, then you can easily solve this problem is just a piece of cake. So, but let's understand how we will solve this problem using the concept we use in at a distance. So this is the example one. So whenever the problem where we need to find out minimum, maximum and count, we will try to formulate the recursive solution first. And once we able to make the recurrence, then we will check if there are repeated sub problem, then it will be stand for the dynamic programming. We will catch the problem of the solution of the sub problem and then we will speed up the solution. So before that, let's start. This is our, let's say a string. We are using index i for this initialize from the uh, I, we can start like either from the first index and go to the end of the string or we can start comparing from the end of the end character and then come to the front of the string like that. So let's start the i from the last character which is like the here uh, let's say m the length of this first word is m and this j is from over here the, the length of this j is n start both like from m comma n now when we hear so this m is the length of our word one and is the length of them so the last character is is the index is zero ways in a string so we just compare if m minus one character at m minus one uh, so let's say this sort and the in the word one so let w1 if is equals to the w2 of n minus one character so there are two cases either this equal if this is equal in that case we just reduce it. We don't have to delete any of them. So we reduce both i y one, i y one, and j y one. Both of them together, and then call recursively. And whatever solution we get, the remaining problem that will be the our answer. If in second case they are not equal, if they are not equal, then there are two cases, two choices. Either we delete de uh, decrease i by one, so we decrease i y one and keep j as it is and uh, another case is either we like keep i is same the character at ith index and decrease j y1 like basically decrease mean delete that character and the second word and we in both of these two solution we will take whichever giving us the minimum number of delete so we will take min of these two and this is what the recurrence relation we will keep going in until we reach at the one of the string become zero once let's say the base cases of this if i is 0 if i is to 0 in that case we need to delete the remaining character in the second string which is j so we just return j similarly if j is 0 first before i then we have to return i as this is the remaining character we need to delete from the string one word one so this is the idea now you can pause the video and try to code yourself so here is the code implementation for the same approach. So instead of starting the last character, I started from the index base instead of length base here in code. And I compare when I is become less than zero, then return J plus one because J is now index running index, not the length of the other word. So that's why we are returning J plus one. Similarly over here, J is less than zero, we return I plus one. And in the case when both the character and string like S like word one and word two is same, we return these uh, reduce like call of helper both of them we reduce one by one 
and otherwise we will take the minimum and we are deleting one of them like one character from either word one or word two so that's why adding one so one plus this is the recurrence relation so if you see the time complexity of the solution will become exponential as let's say the length of our word one is m and uh, length of our word two is n and every time we have two choices making two choices so this will become two power m plus one n branches will open so this is exponential and for bigger test cases this will be time out so now let's try a small test case over here itself if i start from for this word itself so the or let's take a small example let's say a v c d is the word one and a c a c d e is the word two so if i start from the index so the index is here three Similarly, the index over here is three. Then both of them are not equal, so we will call or reduce one of them is like say first we deleted two comma three, so this will be two comma three. Or in second call, like we will take minimum of these two, like this keep as it is in this D and delete E, so this will become two. Now further we check the second C is not equals to E again, so we again have two choices like reduce the C. so this will become 1 comma 3 or here we can delete the e from the second word so this will become 2 comma 3 2 comma 2 basically then we can take from here 3 this 3 will delete it so again d is equals to d so we just reduce 2 comma 1 over here 2 comma uh, this will be index d d is equal here yeah, 2 comma 1 now again if we compare this 2 comma here we delete this 2 comma 1 let's say this take this branch at index 2 we have v here at index 2 we have c here so we can have two option one we reduce the first like 1 comma 2 or 2 comma 1 so as you clearly see now we got this repeated sub problem 2 comma 1 over in this branch as well as we previously encountered so this problem has repeated sub problem so we can catch the solution of this problem either you can use a dp array 2d array or you can use the hash map to catch your solution so this is a top down dp solution by catching the recursive pro sub problem solutions so that it will be speed up so now the time complexity of this solution is o of mn as we are running this two times like worst case we will solve the o of mn uh, problem and the space complexity is also o of mn same so now you can pause video and uh, submit this code now let's convert this top down in bottom up so in bottom up approach i took this example so how we need to start so let's say initially one of the string so this is my word one word one in horizontally word two is my let's say vertically i place now when we have no character in both of them string then we don't have to delete anything so this is zero now let's say if first string here is empty and second has one character then one we need to delete second then two then two then three then three so that many number of character we have to delete similarly in first column if this first word is empty then we have to delete this one two like that now from starting from here we will compare if these two character at this current index is, is same yes so in that case we just take the answer from diagonal that's it so we don't have to delete anything so this is zero now again we compare like this is our two string we have to like the word one with two character av and word two with one character a and a is matching a but a is not matching with if we compare current this last character as a a with b is not equal so in that case we need to take the minimum from the either from this branch or this branch and then plus one so zero is the minimum so this will become 0 plus 1 is 1 similarly here ac not equal so this will come 2 similarly ad is not equal so this will become 3 now we go again in this row so in this row we will check c not equals to a we will take the minimum this will become 1 and here c is again not equal so minimum of these two diagonal like so this will become 2 then minimum so now this is equal so we will take diagonal one directly 1 and here this will go now that is not equal minimum 1 plus 1 which is 2 again for d here d is not equal to a so minimum of this diagonal is 1 and again 1 plus 1 basically so which is 2 and now we have not equal so 2 plus 1 which is 3 now we have not equal 1 plus 1 is 2 
and now we have again this is equal so we take diagonal 1 which is 1 directly again for e is not equal so minimum of this plus 1 minimum of this plus 1 minimum of this plus 1 minimum now e is not equal so minimum of this plus 1 which is 2 so at the end this is the answer at the last index like of our uh, 2d array so this is m index m comma n so m we will create a m plus 1 comma n plus 1 2d array and the, in the end we will get the answer so this is the idea now you can pause the video and try to code yourself so here is the code for the bottom up approach so this is called bottom up approach solution and the time complexity and space complexity again the same as the top down one which is o of m n m and n m into n so this is a one way like solving this problem using the added distance problem but there is another way another famous problem of dynamic programming longest common subsequence so we can take the idea of that and also solve this problem by using that approach so how we can solve first of all we will try to find out the longest common subsequence in this two string so if you see clearly a v and uh, a c d a c d a c d is over here so a c d is the longest common subsequence in these two string which of the length 3 so now what we will do we sum the length of both the string let's say m plus n and subtract the two times the longest common subsequence that many number of deletion we need to do so the length of the was string 4 plus 4 minus 2 into 3 which is 8 minus 6 which is nothing but 2 so this is the answer we got even our previous solve approach so now this idea i got you can again pause the video try code yourself so here is the code of the recursive solution it's very and the followed by caching so using the 2d array so this is top down dp solution so here we are just comparing when one of the string becomes empty then the we just return 0 because there is no more character left in one of the string we cannot make further extend our com com longest common subsequence and in case we have already solution we will return that otherwise if both of the character in both the string is same then we found one character which is matching so we will return 1 plus helper of the one decrease 1 by 1 and in case the character is not equal we will take max of reducing one one character from both of the branch either from the first string or from the second string so this is just reverse approach idea of the previous solution so for bottom up how we will do now so again same approach let's say the word 2 is empty in this and we have word 1 with character a b c whatever number of character we have nothing common in that similarly here when we have nothing in the word 1 and we have these characters in our word 2 so we can't have any common so we will have 0 0 over here again now when we are extending this so a a is common so we will take 1 as diagonal plus 1 now a v not equal so we will take the maximum of this cross diagonal entries so which is 1 though we will keep this one as it is similarly we will take 1 1 like that now in second row we will again get 1 and 1 and this is now equal so this is 1 plus 1 from here this become 2 and this is maximum of uh, so this will become 2 again so like that we will get 3 over here if you fill this whole matrix by following the same idea so this is a bottom of approach idea now you can pause video and try to code yourself for bottom of approach idea before i start coding it so let's go to the implementation so this is a code written the previous approach with using the added distance so now here in we just need to change this condition whenever i or j is 0 so instead of putting the remaining character in either of these we just fill the 0 over here and in case the character in both the string is same we just fill 1 plus the answer from the previous one and in case the character is not equal so now instead of min we will take the max over here that's it and in the end we just return the length like m plus n minus 2 times the max longest so this is the length of our longest common subsequence so this is the solution now, now let us submit this code and see what will happen so it got accepted again the time complexity and space complexity is same for this solution 
but if you want if you notice like in our this dp i of j is only depend of either the dp of i minus 1 j or j minus 1 so one of the previous one so for optimizing space you can do create this as a 1d array so instead of this we like let's copy paste this you can create 1d array here of length is same as the second word which is like n so we will go over here and uh, in so this will record like uh, if i go so once you process this row this is done then for this row what we are depending on either this element or this element or the this element so this element is a part of this array so what you can do you can create a single bundy bundy array first then internally you can create temporary bundy array for evaluating this new row new row from the previous row once you evaluated this new row in tam then you can update that initial dp array by this tam so over here you can create one more like temporary dp array so temp from the again the size is same as uh, n plus 1 once this done you can backfill this dp of like temp from the previous dpi so this will be like this and here you will take the indices j instead of we don't need i over here so this is what you can keep update and in the end after here you can replace like dp by temp up change the dp so that for the next row this deep temp previous row will become the previous so this is the idea you can try to code yourself and if you face any difficulty in coding you can let me know in the comment section so this is the solution if you like the solution hit the like button and subscribe to my channel